United States is the one providing the munitions every day to Israel. It's up to the United States to stop this. The U.S. is in the hands of a powerful lobby which has supported Israel no matter what Israel is doing. But the American people are deeply upset and against what our own government in the United States is doing right now. I want the U.N. every day to bring up a resolution in the U.N. Security Council. And if the U.S. vetoes it, I want the U.S. to stand in isolation in the whole world and bear the consequences of that. How do you respond to his characterization? Bernie Sanders is parroting the talking. Bernie Sanders is parroting the talking points of Hamas and the Ayatollah in Iran. If that's the side he wants to choose, so be it. The, our Democrat colleagues have to make a choice. Are they going to stand with our most important ally in the Middle East at, at this most desperate time, as has traditionally been the the case in Washington? We've had bipartisan agreement that we have to stand in solidarity with Israel. Or are they going to take this new side and stand with Hamas and, and uh, the Ayatollah? Bernie Sanders has chosen a side. I hope that our other colleagues in the Democrat uh, Party will, will stand up and do the right thing. We desperately need it. Israel desperately needs it. I spoke to uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu as recently as Wednesday about all of this. And, and he's deeply concerned. You know, we did issue that invitation for the joint address to Congress. I'm really grateful it finally went out. I would note that I sent the draft of the letter, the joint letter back in mid-March to Chuck Schumer. It took him quite some time to agree. But we have finally gotten that done. Uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu is anxious to come and address us. And I hope that we can get that uh, uh, scheduled here in the, in the coming weeks.